name is Christian. I was born in the city called Destruction. From a great book, I learned that the city of my birth would soon be consumed by fire from heaven. Besides this, I had become aware of a great and heavy burden on my back. This burden brought to my mind all my wrongs. In this knowledge, I sought to flee the city. I told my family that we had to leave before the city was destroyed. To my everlasting sadness, my wife refused to leave, and I left alone. On my journey, I encountered many obstacles, and I met with friends as well as enemies. At last, I began to see the end of my journey. The wicked gate lies before me, and beyond this road, the celestial city. I'm sure there are many challenges I have left to face, but I know the celestial city lies before me, and the troubles now are not worthy to be compared with the glory I will soon see. Who are you and why do you come? I am a poor burdened sinner. I come from the city of destruction, and I'm going to Mount Zion to escape from the wrath to come. I am told that this gate is the way there. I have strayed from the path many times, and have been an undeserving rebel. Yet, are you willing to let me come in? I am willing with all my heart. In! In! Beelzebub is the captain, and from his battlement, both he and his minions shoot arrows at those who come up to this gate, to try and kill them before they enter in. Well, thank you. There's an open door before you, and no man can shut it. I am more fit for death than to be let in here. What a favor this is. We make no objections about those who come in, no matter what they have done before coming here. Also. He that comes in, we will in no wise cast out. Good Christian, come a little way with me, and I will tell you more about the way you must go. Look, do you see this narrow way? This is the way you must go. It was made by the patriarchs, the prophets, and Christ and his apostles. It is as straight as a ruler. Be aware, there are many roads that converge on this one, and they are all crooked and wide. But the only right road is the one that is straight and narrow. Now in a little ways, you will come to a man's house. i will show you excellent things. Bear your burden a little longer. You're almost over. Godspeed. What would you have of me, sir? 
I was told by Goodwill, the keeper of the gate, that you could show me excellent things. Yes, yes, come in, come in. See, once you receive the grace of God that is given in Christ, you must live by his word. My name is Interpreter. I'm sent to help pilgrims to understand the truth of God's word. Come follow me. He has the best of books in his hand, and the law of truth is on his lips. And the world is behind him to show that his work is to reveal dark things to sinners. He stands, pleading with men. He wears a gold crown because caring not of the things of this world, he is sure to receive a reward that is in the world to come. Christian, I have shown you this picture first, because this man is appointed by the king to be your guide. He will guide you through all of the life's difficulty by preaching to you the word of God. Come, I have more to show you. Do you see the floor in all this room? It is covered in dust. Yes, watch. <coughs> He's the only thing to get worse. Tell him to stop. Bring in the water and sprinkle the room. What does this mean? Well, Christian, the room is the heart of a man who has never been sanctified by the gospel. The dust is the original sin that corrupts and defiles the whole man. The man that comes to sweep his law, and instead of cleaning it, he just revives sin. The law can discover sin, but has no power to subdue it. The girl that came and sprinkled the water, well, she represents the gospel. Just as the room was easily clean with the water, so can the soul be made clean with the sweet influences the gospel come upon it. 